Hello everyone, welcome again in this new tutorial. Today we will talk about these modules. These are an RF wireless transceivers. Okay, they are uh, working on 433 megahertz and they can uh, support uh, a coverage of one kilometer. Okay, they are also very cheap module. They can be interfaced with any MCU, especially with Raspberry Pi and Arduino. Uh, okay, the interface used here uh, called the UART. Okay, by using two pins only, RX and TX. Okay. So this module, as we can see here, support two kind of antenna, either by using this is already provided spiral antenna you just sold it out to the antenna pin or you can buy off the shelf uh, SMA connector to an external antenna for better performance the pin out for this model is set TX RX ground and VCC later we will see how to connect to the Arduino okay so the pin out and the connection is as the fellow. So if we hold the model like this, you can see the antenna. So it looks like antenna, which is this the antenna. And this is the pin out representing here. So first of first pin we have the set RX TX ground and VCC. Okay. So if we want to connect the RF to the Arduino, first regarding the set pin, no need to connect to any pin. Actually, this set we use it to put the the RF module into a programming mode, whereby we can set the internal parameter of this module. However, for the time being, we just keep it floating. We didn't connect to any pin. Later in the next tutorial, I will try to make uh, a new tutorial of uh, the set position and how uh, sorry for the set pin and how to program the RF or change the parameter for the RF using the AT command. Okay, uh, TX connect to the RX of the Arduino and the RF RX connect to the TX ground to the ground VCC to either 3.3 volt or 5 volt is support two voltages either 3.3 volt or 5 volts. Okay, so here I already hook the RF to the Arduino as we can see here VCC ground I connect the VCC to the 5 volt and ground to the ground and also RX TX TX to the RX using to pin number 0 and pin number 1 okay this one I will use two sets one for the transmitter one will be the receiver okay so Let's go to the computer and write a code to uh, to try to transmit data between these two modules. Okay, let's go there. Okay, so we have come into the computer and to write the code for the RF modules. And again, as we can see here, I already prepared the code for you guys to save some time in this tutorial. Okay, so first we start with the transmitter. So first of all, in the setup blue, in the setup, sorry, in the setup function, uh, we define the serial because we are using the RX and TX for the serial communication. So we need to initialize the serial communication peripheral with uh, 9600 bit per second whereby this is the default baud rate for the RF okay however and then in the future tutorials when we will learn how to change the baud rate for the RF by using AT command when we set the pin named set on the RF, we set it to the ground, then we go and change the powder, then here we have to update the powder again. Okay, so since we are working with default module, so we just uh, set it as uh, 9600 bit per second. And also I will use the built-in LED to check whether 
the data is sent or no. Okay, now we come to the loop. In the loop, I will just send one or zero. That's easy and simple. Okay, so first of all, I will send one, point line one, is mean I'm transmitting one from the transmitter. At the same time, I will turn on the LED and I will wait for half a second. Okay, about half a second. Then I will send zero, turn off the LED, wait for another half second, then go back again to turn on and off and etc. Okay, so we just will send one zero one zero from the transmitter. Okay, now let's connect the transmitter. Okay, the transmitter, we go to the tools, we change to COM11, okay, correct, and upload. Okay, done uploading. So if we can see here, done. We send one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Okay, this one will be sent to the receiver part. And at the same time, if you can see here later, I will show you on the board. The Arduino also, the, the built-in LED is blinking one, zero, or on, off, on, off. Okay. So, we have finished with this. Let's go to the uh, RX code. Okay. So, this is the RX code. Again, very easy, busy. Uh, Again, same as the TXM, uh, the transmitter, since we're using the serial, so we need to initialize the series with the default power plate of 9600. And also we need the, the built-in LED to display the receive uh, data from the transmitter. Okay, in the while loop, first I will read the incoming packet from the serial. Okay, so since there is a serial data, a data come through the serial interface, then I will store this data inside the X. <coughs> okay? So if there is a one coming or zero coming from the transmitter, it will be stored inside X. Then I will check if X equal to one, then I will turn on the built-in LED. However, if X equal to zero, then I will turn off the built-in LED. This is all in the receiver side. Okay? So just follow the transmitter side. If the transmitter send one, the receiver part will turn on the LED. Okay? If the transmitter sends zero, the receiver will turn off the built-in LED. Okay? We connect the, the receiver. Receiver on port com number 12 and upload okay we have done with the upload so let's go to check our circuits on the breadboard and see how they are function okay guys so we have changed to the another camera and we can see here on the right side is the receiver Okay, and on the left side is the transmitter. Okay, this is a transmitter, this is a zero. So we already powered the receiver and we can see the built-in LED is off now because there's no incoming bucket from the transmitter. However, if we turn off the transmitter, okay, if you see now the transmitter is on and transmitting data as we can see here, the, the, the built-in LED is blink. Now, the LED also is blinking at the same time. This mean, is mean we are receiving packets from the transmitter and also we activate the LED according to the received packets either on or off. Okay, so if we reset this or we hold it, we can see it's on, on and it's still on, not blink anymore because we already reset this. If we let it go, reset again, then Boom, now they are cyclones again. Okay, so this is the, the, we have reached to the end of our tutorial of this uh, RF. This is the first tutorial. It's very, very easy and basic tutorial whereby just sending uh, very small data, either is one or zero, and also we activate 
the built-in LED according to the receive uh, packets or receive data. So in the future video, maybe we go for the harder and more complicated uh, tutorials, and also we will learn how to set the internal parameter of the RF module. So thank you very much, and hope you have learned something. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have any more question or further clarification. Let me uh, know by leave me a comment down below. Thank you very much. See you soon.